this window. Corner, biggest goblin sport. I want to talk about this Natasha Jonas Terry Harper beef that uh, seems to be going on. There's a bit of bad feeling there, isn't there? And uh, now I'm looking at it from outside. I can see what they're trying to do, but. Joe Gallagher's old school, isn't he? He's like, he's not going to forget what happened before, is he, with that draw where technically they got robbed, didn't they? Uh, they weren't the A side, were they? Uh, they weren't the own fighter and all that, so they got robbed, but they didn't get the decision, did they? They didn't get the rematch. Things are said, aren't they, on social media? Is it right that. Steffi Ball's getting blamed. He's partly to blame, isn't he? Maybe people just don't get his banter, but I'm going to lay the blame with Eddie Hearn. You know, I've, now I've, I've took myself out of the equation. I said, wait, Ross, who do you really think, man in the middle moment, is at fault here? And I think Eddie Hearn. But Steffi's got his sums wrong. I don't know what they teach him at school in Denneby, in junior school. Whether, whether, they teach, whether they put them on Janet and John Book 1 and uh, to then teach them you know, how to add up 1 and 1 is 2 and 3 and 3 is 6 I don't know but Steffi Bull said a high end 6 figure offer was made and it was increased so a high end 6 figure offer would be 8 900 grand wouldn't it high end you know, a low end would be, you know, 200, 300 grand, wouldn't it? So, so the second offer on his social media is half a million. So how is that an increased offer from a high end six figure first offer? It isn't, is it? You see what happens when you tell a lie, you've got to tell another, aren't you? Or you shut it down. So, Steffi needs to come out and say this was the first offer and this is obviously the second one's half a million but say what the first one was because it won't be a good one the first one now do I think the fight happens no I don't think it does if it does they've got to pay Anthony they've got to double that 500 and keep going it's got to be a record breaking purse hasn't it so other than that I don't think it happens and I think that's a shame for Teddy from Denneby, because really there's a bit of controversy there and you've got two different characters, you've got one a back foot fighter who's a runner, who fluked to draw in the first fight, the other one comes forward, doesn't she, southpaw, can fight all, all different ways and a bit more in a locker, a bit more power maybe, well I know she has. Two contrasting styles you've got. One, the darling of Sky Sports, since you now Natasha. She looks the part, doesn't she? Says all right things, big bright smile. And then you've got Terry, who can't even work a Twitter, can she? Bullcroft has to do a Twitter for, for her, doesn't he? You couldn't imagine her as a pundit, it'd be a nightmare, wouldn't it? But, so, chalk and cheese, and that's good together, a bit like Ben and Eubank, Ali and Fraser. I'm not going to put it in that bracket, but that's what sells, doesn't it? So I can, f I feel Steffi Bull's pain. But if he weren't eating Eddie Hearn's food for him, well, we know how we got to got in that position to eat Eddie's food, don't we? I mean, <laughs> he's sharing a plate at the moment, isn't he, with Jay Caldwell, isn't he? And Tony Bellew, Steffi. <laughs> hey, they're all in there fighting for position. Triplets, isn't it? 
So I kind of like feel for him because it's like getting Thunderball, isn't it? Ticket, and you've lost, and, you, and you've lost it, haven't you? It's like having a Thunderball ticket, but then you lose your ticket on way to cash it in. But like I said, there were no respect shown before when it were a draw, when it were a world fight, when we're ready. Well, begging balls out now, isn't it? Because not many people want to work with Eddie now, do they? It looks like he's being shut down. We're ready to come out and uh, and say, well, you know, we'll put it on Sky if we have to. What, like Joshua? Why can't the zone do it? What about a stack card on pay per view? I don't know. It's uh, all a bit of a mystery, isn't it? But uh, I feel for Team Harper and I feel for Steffi. But. You're dealing with an old school guy, aren't you, Joe Gallagher, up at 6 o'clock in the in bed at 12, mind spinning all night about what's going on in boxing. He's a, he's a head the ball, isn't he, for boxing, Joe Gallagher, isn't he? He's a, he knows what's going on. He knows how to play the game, doesn't he? Uh, well, Steph, Steph is in a, in a situation where he's having to speak for his fighter all the time, isn't he? A bit like uh, Joe had to do for quick, didn't he? No disrespect against Scott Quigg, he's a, he's, a, he's a nice kid, isn't he? An hard trainer and, and he did fantastic out of his career. But Scott Quigg's a bit like Terry Harper, isn't he? You couldn't imagine him being a pundit, could you? Do you know what I mean? Kind of thing. And I don't mean that as a dig against Scott. Whereas Frampton, you know, he's a nemesis. You know, he's a pundit, isn't he? And he's totally different to Scott. Chalk and cheese, that's why that fight did well, isn't it? I think Arthur Jonas, I think it could be built up into something really big. Um, maybe we might be talking about this fight in another year. But I can't, Natasha hasn't got long left because she's late 30s now, which she was Terry's early 20s, so there's plenty of miles in her. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Moving sideways. Saturday mornings. Kids swimming in about another hour. It's no good, isn't it? Get them up to Maltby Baths, throw them in. Uh, game of snooker, then I think. I'm be picking dog muck up, hopefully. Not, but. But uh, I'll finish off on this one here. The Tete thing. Frank Warren's had plenty to say, Annie, about Connor Ben. Well. I'm seeing silence on the Tete thing, Zalano Tete. Now, it's up to Jason Cunningham to instruct lawyers now, isn't it? And chase it down, but at the moment, till the sun is guilty, we can't really say how, can we? Really, because we, we don't really know what's going on, there's nothing coming back. It's all a bit of a mystery, isn't it? It's a bit like the mystery machine van, isn't it? Like Scooby Doo, isn't it? It's like a Agatha Christie who done it. <laughs> So do I feel for Cunningham? Yeah, but let's have it right. Tete were always going to beat him, wasn't he? But if he's been cheating, it needs to be a no contest, doesn't it? It needs to be a no contest, but did he did he take something in camp or after camp or when were when were the date? When were this date that he's failed it? What, what company were it? There's nothing out there, is there? Silence, isn't there? So, Tete needs banning if he's guilty, but it needs sorting. We can't keep hiding behind these B samples, and we can't have a Connor Ben and not Tete. And you've got to think of Jason Cunningham now. Look, Jason Cunningham, we're never going to beat Tete, worry. Oliver's well, got an hole in his. <whistles> never, we're never going to happen. Never in a million years. Never in a month of Sundays. But. If Teddy is guilty, he's been beat by a dirty fighter, hasn't he? So I feel for him. I feel for him. And no doubt his manager, Steffi Bull, aka Ginger Balls, no doubt he'll be instructing his lawyers and dipping into that big load of dough that he's got in bank and spending for Jason Cunningham to do the right thing for his fighter. Because you're in the Jason Cunningham business, aren't you, Steffi? So do the right thing. And get lawyers on job. If you need a good lawyer, Dennis will put you in touch with one because he's he, he he's got trigger happy, hasn't he, this last couple of weeks with lawyers, Dennis. Ross, I only just have to push a button, you know. 
And my lawyers deal with it. Pushing buttons, Dennis, now. He's like Dr. No, isn't he? <laughs> Pushing buttons. Or is it Moonraker where they push button and bloke falls out of aeroplane? <laughs> Aye. Oh, Dennis. Aye. Big Ron. But yeah, it's uh, going to be interesting. But Jonas Harper would like to see it. Yeah, but I want to see him get paid. Do I think it happens? No, I don't. Who do I blame? I blame Eddie Hearn for trying to shut Joe Gallagher down. I think there's a bit more to this than meets the eye. There were a time where they will not give Joe's fighters any slots and you know, bad beef between Eddie and Joe. And I blame Eddie Hearn. I think this is part of it, one part of it. The other part of it is Steffi's really not covering himself in glory. Maybe, like I said, people just don't get his banter. He's got to do the best for his fighters. So I'm going to sit on fence for this, but I want to see it happen. But I want to see him get paid. But I met Jonas a massive, massive favourite in that fight. But if that fight can't happen, let's see Terry Harper take a mandatory on. So I think Eddie can juggle them mandatories and the step aside and all sorts going on. So she don't have to take it because you've got to protect your fighter, haven't you? And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Okie dokie. That's about it for Saturday morning. We'll cover it Friday at Saturdays and any other action. Probably on Monday or summer, me and Kent, Julian or summer, before I get on that plane. <whistles> Okie doke. That's it. Ah, peace out.